Hello Divine Souls, I hope everyone is having an amazing day. So the 1111 portal is one of the luckiest days of the year to manifest your heart's desire. This year's 1111 portal is especially significant because when you add up 1111 2023 and you break down all the numbers, it breaks down into an 11. So you guys are entering one of the most influential period in your life and you will be setting the tone for the rest of the year. So start manifesting Divine Souls. So for today's reading, I ask Spirit, what three things do you want the collective to focus on for the rest of the year? And the first card that came out was Spirit Guides. How fitting is that? Your Spirit Guides are wanting you to know that they're with you every step of the way, no matter how dismal things may seem. Someone is going through a difficult situation right now and you're needing answers. You feel like the world is on your shoulders and you're always the one making sacrifices for everyone else. You are emotionally and mentally exhausted and you feel like you can never catch a break no matter what you do. Whether it's dealing with your family relationships, your love relationships, or your finances. So Spirit wants you to know that when you pray, God takes care of everything else. And they want you to be persistent and consistent in your daily prayer life. And then you'll start seeing changes and you'll get the answers that you are seeking. There's a loved one that was very significant in your life that has passed on. You have been feeling their presence around you very strong and you have been thinking about them a lot. They want you to know to keep pushing through because things are going to get better. And they're also sending you signs every day to let you know that you're not alone. So just know that your spirit guides have your best interest at heart and they want you to reach out to them no matter what circumstances you're facing. That's why they're there. They're your guides and they want to help you. And the beautiful thing is, they're available 24 seven. Your next card is the tree of life. The tree of life is about being grounded. And when you're fully connected to the universe, you're unstoppable. This is about wisdom, growth, expansion, and knowledge. There are so many opportunities around you right now that you're not seeing. And for some of you, you do see these opportunities, but you're scared to take the leap of faith. This card wants you to know there are greater things to come into your life. And it's very important for you to pay attention to the sacred knowledge that's available to you right now. You are a tree of wealth and knowledge. So listen to the universe, that way your gifts will be unveiled. There will always be twists and turns in your life. But when you are connected to the tree of life, no matter what the circumstances are, you will always come out on top. So keep the main thing the main thing. And that's your focus on the most high. So ask and ye shall receive, knock and the door shall be open. Do these things and you will see your life change drastically. So pray without ceasing. And your last card is time. The universe wants you to know that time is everything. They want you to know that they are working diligently behind the scenes to orchestrate your desired outcome. Many of you have been praying about a situation for a very long time and you don't see results happening. So instead of focusing on how long something is taking, while you're waiting, manifest the beautiful end result. This is how you bring things into fruition. Whether you're manifesting new love, a new career opportunity, or your health. Always see the glass as half full and have a positive mindset. Some of you are very impatient and you try to do things on your own accord, but it only ends up falling apart. And that's because you're not consulting your spirit guides. Or if you are consulting them, you're not consistent. This world is all about instant gratification and wanting things here and now. Just like how it takes a baby nine months to develop. So whatever you're asking for, whatever you're praying about, it's also going to take time to grow. That's why they say patience is a virtue. This card is also telling you to take time out for yourself because you have been doing too much. So start prioritizing your life and focus on one thing at a time. Think of your life as a pathway of stepping stones and focus on which direction you would like to put your time into. And once you do this collective, you'll be surprised on how much free time you have to focus on what really makes you happy. So these are the three messages that Spirit wants you to focus on for the rest of the year. And to wrap this reading up, I went on ahead and pulled one Healing Energy Oracle card for you. And what came out was serenity. Serenity is the state of being calm and peaceful. And this card says, through love, release, and inner work, I know peace. 
I have a gentle view of life and welcome every step with confidence. I remain brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. So this card tied in beautifully with your first card, Spirit Guides. The universe is wanting you to let go and let God. You guys have beautiful things on the way. No matter how hard the struggle may seem, be persistent and consistent in your prayer life. Know that you're not alone. Manifest your heart's desires and God will do the rest. No matter how long it may seem like it's taking, so stay grounded and rooted to who you truly are and God's got the rest. If you have enjoyed this 1111 portal video, make sure you share it so someone else can benefit from it as well. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.